I am not Irish. Oh, oh, I am also not Irish. Oh, I don't think I'm Irish. Oh, oh, I, I, I don't think so. I am also not Irish, but you know what we all are? Green. Green. That's right. Green. So for today, we are all Irish for St. Patrick's Day. That's right. I also am not Irish, but today I am green and Irish. That's right, storyteller. So what do Irish people know all about? They know about leprechauns and rainbows and pots of gold. That's right. So this is the story of the leprechaun. May the luck of the Irish be with you. Whoa. Whoa. I feel like I got an Irish blessing just now from Green Bear. Shall we? Dying to know the story of the leprechaun. I mean, how did it all begin? Where did he find his pot of gold? How did he figure out how to ride the rainbow? Questions, people, questions. But first, a map of leprechaun land. Here we have the big people village, and over here the distant hills, and over here the faraway village. And then the peat bogs, that's where the goblins live. This is the field of berry bushes. <gasps> and this is the enchanted forest. Oh, right by the fairy ring, which is not far from the fruit shop, the milliner's shop, the grocery shop, the elfin blacksmith, the bakery, and the shoemaker. So you can get all your shopping and your errands done all in one convenient location. Here, uh, that's another tree. This is a stream right here. And over here, the big trees. That's where trolls, giants, and dragons dwell. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Well, shall we go in and see what's up? Oh, there's a note from the author. <gasps> Leprechauns are a type of fairy, and for that reason, they have magical powers and can grant wishes. What are you going to wish for? <gasps> so many possibilities. I wish I was president of the United States of America. Oh, well, that's an easy one, but are there two more wishes? Do we know? Well, let's find out. Yeah, because then I'm going to wish to be president a second time and a third time. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Okay, most leprechauns live in Ireland, right? Although a few came to North America, yes, when their families left Ireland in the 19th century. Leprechauns are misers and are careful about keeping their pots of gold in a safe place. Misers means they are cheap. They don't like to share their money or spend their money at all. They just keep it, well, in a pot of gold. Uh, they are generally suspicious of humans who often try to capture them or trick them in order to get the pot of gold. Well, I would be suspicious too. Unlike humans, they also have a natural ability to find the end of the rainbow, which is handy when burying treasure. Good author's note. Now we know what we're getting ourselves into. A little man, about two feet tall, lived under a large tree by a stream. You could easily find him by listening for the tap, tap, tap of his hammer, like so. I wonder what he's hammering. By the way, isn't this the prettiest? Look at that little tree condo by the water, waterfront property. Nicely done, Mr. Leprechaun. The little man was a shoemaker. He spent his days making shoes that were green, gold, and lavender. Depends on what color it looked like on the internet to you. Now, some had pointy shoes and some had high heels for the people who lived nearby and for the fairies who lived in the woods. <laughs> of course, because that fairy wood is just down the road. The people knew he was a leprechaun, for there were many fairies like him who lived in outside villages. Oh, look at this land. Look at all the, and the pointy. I think the pointy hats are a good sign that you're a leprechaun. Or maybe also the pointy hair and also the lights that have pointy tops. But look at all those adorable tree houses. Oh my gosh, oh, and look at this one. It's in like a, a whole green area, that little magical tree in there. That would be my second choice. First choice, by the water. You have to decide what your tree house would be. Is it the one by the water? You're gonna live with me? Or are you gonna be in one of these special little places all on your own? The people paid the leprechaun with pieces of gold for the shoes that he cobbled. 
clink, 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 clink. Look how tiny he is compared to the people. How adorable. And look, the beautiful work. Beautiful. The fairy shoes were made of satin and they were tiny. The fairies brought their gold to the leprechaun too. Clink, 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 clink. Look, look, he's holding. I know, it's so tiny, but look at those little pair of shoes in his hand for the fairy. Wow, that must be a very strong fairy to be flying with such a heavy bag of gold. The leprechaun needed a place to keep his gold, don't we all? He was a bit of a miser, and we know what that means now. He does not like to spend his money. So he didn't like to spend his money. Wait, I just said that. An old metal pot became the perfect place for all his wealth. His shoes were so prized that soon his pot of gold was overflowing. Oh, look at that gorgeous pair. Oh, I want these. The purple one with the golden stars and the pointy curly cute ends. And these blue ones are adorbs. The green ones, there's pink ones with little red hearts if you like that. Gold with sunshine. Oh, so many beautiful choices. One day, a man named Tim came to the leprechaun shop by the tree. Hey, Tim. He wanted a pair of shoes that would be violet blue with thick heels. As he was describing the shoes to the leprechaun, Tim spied the pot of gold. Burr, burr, burr. I think this is the part that spells trouble. Tim knew that if he could capture the leprechaun, he would be granted three wishes because leprechauns are magic. I'll come back in a few days to collect my shoes, said Tim. Hmm, Tim, we know you're up to no good now. The leprechaun, though, he was no fool. Mm -mm 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 -mm. He knew what the man was really after. I mean, if you're going to have all that gold lying around, you have to develop that six spidey sense. He buried his pot of gold in a field filled with berry bushes. Delicious, but also berry bushes can be thorny, so that's a good idea. Let's see. Oh, here we go. A few days later, Tim came back and the leprechaun gave him the gorgeous violet blue shoes. But when the leprechaun turned to hide his payment, he was snatched from behind. <gasps> the leprechaun could not escape. Now Tim could get what he wanted, which was not the shoes. Well, which was the shoes, but then also the wishes. For my first wish, I want you to show me where the pot of gold is hidden. For my second wish, I want a hundred pairs of shoes. Well, that's just, that's just overly demanding. That poor man has to work now and make you a hundred shoes after giving you also the gold. Ugh. And for my third wish, I want three more wishes. Hmm. The leprechaun said, I can grant you the first two wishes, but the third wish is a greedy trick and cannot be granted. You tell him, leprechaun. Huh. The leprechaun brought Tim to the field and pointed to the spot where the gold was buried. Now, Tim had no shovel to dig with, so he marked the spot with a stick and a shoe. He would come back later. Hmm. <laughs> When Tim returned, he could not believe his eyes. There were 200 sticks with over 200 shoes all over the field. It was leprechaun magic. That's right. What did you think when you walked away, Tim? You knew. You knew already, didn't you? That was a not smart idea. Not smart. Tim dug many holes in the field, but he could not find the spot where the pot of gold was buried. <laughs> After a few hours, he gave up. When he tried to collect the shoes, each one disappeared. The leprechaun had tricked him. So, no gold and no shoes, boom. The leprechaun needed to find a better place now to hide his gold. That's right, because now we got rid of Tim. He knew that rainbows magic. Ah, oh, they really are, aren't they? He knew that rainbows were magic and you could never tell where one ended. And if he buried his gold at the end of one, only he would know how to find it again. Hi, fairy. Oh, look at that. They live in little mushroom houses. So cute. Okay, so if I was a fairy instead of a leprechaun, I would want the little mushroom house also by the water. So that is what he did. 
he buried it at the end of the rainbow. So people still try to find his gold, but they never will. Listen for the sound of the leprechaun. Tap, 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 as he cobbles his shoes. Tap, 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 tap. Perhaps if you find him, and if you are very nice to him, he will grant you a wish. And that was the story of the leprechaun. Okay, here it is, the shoemaker right there. That's his home, right by the stream. That's my future home right there. Where are you going to live? Did you choose to live in the enchanted forest, over by the fairies? Are you gonna live over here by the stream with me? There's choices, lots of choices to think about. And you know, I can pay for it. You know why? Look. Da, da, da! Oh, 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 is that what I think it is? A pot of gold? Is that really a bowl full of chocolate coins? Also? Yes! Even better! Are you sharing with me? Well, you know sharing is caring. Awesome! Here you go! Oh, oh. I think I, I better go because I, I want at least one of my chocolate gold coins. So, anyway, may the luck of the Irish be with you, kid! Mm -hmm.